Fall Protection, Wikipedia Audio Fall protection is the use of controls designed to protect personnel from falling or in the event they do fall, to stop them without causing severe injury. Typically, fall protection is implemented when working at height, but may be relevant when working near any edge, such as near a pit or hole, or performing work on a steep surface. There are four generally accepted categories of fall protection, fall elimination, fall prevention, fall arrest, and administrative controls. According to the U.S. Department of Labor, falls account for 8% of all work-related trauma injuries leading to death. Federal statutes, standards, and regulations in the United States pertaining to the requirements for employers to provide fall protection are administered by OSHA. Falls from elevations were the fourth leading cause of workplace death from 1980 through 1994, with an average of 540 deaths per year accounting for 10% of all occupational fatalities. Falls in the workplace Falls are a concern for oil and gas workers, many of whom must work high on a derrick. A study of falls over the period 2005-2014 found that in 86% of fatal falls studied, fall protection was required by regulation, but it was not used, was used improperly, or the equipment failed. Many of the fatalities were because, although the workers were wearing harnesses, they neglected to attach them to an anchor point. In most work at height environments, multiple fall protection measures are used concurrently. OSHA mandates that fall protection measures are taken once workers are at a height of 4 feet in general industry workplaces, 5 feet in shipyards, 6 feet in the construction industry or 8 feet in longshoring operations. Fall elimination is often the preferred way of providing fall protection. This entails finding ways of completing tasks without working at heights by changing the process, changing location of the work, and ensuring the work takes place with minimal mandatory risk. Fall arrest is the form of fall protection that stops a person who has fallen. Fall arrest systems provide maximum freedom of movement for workers to conduct their duties knowing that rescue or self-rescue is possible. Administrative controls are used along with other measures, but they do not physically prevent a worker from going over an edge. Examples of administrative controls include placing a safety observer or warning line near an edge, or enforcing a safety policy which trains workers and requires them to adhere to other fall protection measures, or prohibiting any unrestrained worker from approaching an edge. Types of Fall Protection Fall Elimination Fall Prevention Fall Arrest Administrative Controls